I saw for sure 15 different videos to this topic and not a single one explained me this point. And I can't understand why, because this is the key for a stable box operator. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In the last video I showed you how to improvise such a bozo. In this video I want to explain you how to craft a box offering. With a simple trick you can increase the stability enormous. My first couple tries to improvise a hacksaw were not successful. I had always problems with the stability of the frame in the sawing direction until I understood the, the physics of a hacksaw frame. So let me explain you what I mean. On my first couple tries, the, the crossbar had only a small shoulder on the connection to the vertical stick. And like this, you have something like six joints. Here, 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 here and here. And this is a hinge. Look at this. And after I realized that this shoulder has to be wide. And here, absolutely nothing move. And this is the key to a stable box offering. This connection has to be stable, but this connection has to be flexible. Because if you pull together the string, this vertical stick make like this, and gives tension on the saw blade. Another important point is that this nose has to be exactly on the, on the right tie. What you need is a triangle like this. And this nose has to be exactly on the, in, in, in the middle line of this base. So this is the theory. Now let's start with the project. What you need is a stick with a fork is a little bit longer than the saw blade. You need two stable vertical sticks. You need two pins for hold the saw blade on place. You need a bit cord, a Swiss army knife and the cameraman. Gershil! <laughs> so I start with the two pins. I like to carve the pins out of a thicker branch, like this. Because I have the feeling that this wood is more sturdy than a branch in the right size. Next step is to shorten the stick with the fork to the approximately length. For that, take the saw blade, hold it like this, and then add three centimeters. Now I make a little cut to hold the string on place. Like this. Then I take the cord, make a notch. So, like this. With this rope trick, you can determine the exact length of the legs of this fork that you get a perfect triangle. Here's the first and here is the second. Now, this should be a right angle. Now, I carve the both ends of the fork like this. So, this is enough. Then I turn to the second side.
Next step is to carve a concave shape like this that it fits on the radius of the vertical stick. Okay, this should be enough. Next step is to shorten the vertical sticks. And I take the, the length from about two thirds of the saw blade. That means I have to cut it about, I would say here, Something like this. Hmm? Next step is to split the saw blade slot. After I make a notch where the pins fit in. Perfect. On the other side I carve a notch who holds the cord in place. So done. Next step is to put all parts together that you can determine how long the stick will be. So better make it a bit too long than too short, because cutting away is always possible, but add is not possible. Next step is to carve this end a little bit pointy, like here. So this is enough. The calf again, a concave shape like this, that it fits on the branch. So I would say this is enough. Now let's check if it fits. What do you think, Shil? Is this okay? <laughs> okay. Now, the last step is to, to, to add the cord. Uh, you need a cord who is a bit more than twice the length. Like this. <laughs> the last thing you need is a little branch 
So it's really in the court, like this. So, the high of this crossbar is about the middle, but you can also go a little bit higher. Then, maybe like this, then you have a bit more space for cutting. Now you are almost finished with your saw, but before you can start to saw, you have to make two things. First, you have to make a lashing here and here, that the split can't open more. And the second thing is, you have to find out the perfect high for this nose. Theoretically, the perfect high is here, in the middle of these two connecting points, somewhere here. But you can't measure this. But you can try out. And this works like this. So, if you can, if you can bend the stick in this direction, can you see that? Here. But not on the other direction. In this direction, you have to lift the nose. And if it's too high here, like this, you can move the frame in this direction, but not on the other direction. Now you have to find the perfect middle point where you can lift the frame with the same amount of force on both sides. If you have this, give a bit more tension, try out again, more tension, and nothing move. This is perfect. So, let's do a cutting test. Let's start. So again. <laughs> Look at this. So, I'm really happy with the performance. I hope you like this little project. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday again. Ciao!